Hi there. My name is Sebastian Straub and I'm the Principal Solutions Architect at N2WS. In this video, we'll talk about how to utilize the new EFS file level recovery feature. This feature will allow you to recover certain files and folders from EFS instead of having to restore the entire file system. This feature is available in N2WS Backup and Recovery version 3.2.1. Let's get right into it. So first, I'm going to review one of my policies, which uh, is currently backing up my EFS, my Elastic File System. So if I go to Backup Monitor, I'm going to filter for that particular policy. There it is, EFS. And also good news is that you don't need to make any changes to your existing backup policies that are already backing up EFS. So this is a change. Uh, uh, a feature enhancement under the hood. So I'm going to choose my most recent backup. That's the one. I'm going to click on recover. And at first glance, not much has changed here. So generally what you would choose is you would choose your Elastic File System, click on recover Elastic File System and be done with it. But the new features I'm going to explain now over here as well. First, you do have the option to not only recover the entire Elastic File System, but you also have the option to recover the content of the file system and then store them in the existing EFS. What's the advantage here? Well, maybe the original EFS isn't gone, so I have the option to recover my content and store it in the existing file system. The advantage here is that uh, my file system is probably already uh, logged into the system. So I already have access to that uh, particular drive. And of course, the other option then is that I don't need to create an additional EFS, which then of course is also associated with a cost as well. So that's the option that I have to target my original EFS instead of a new one. The other option that I have is also, I don't have to choose full EFS restore. I can choose file and folder level recovery. And take a quick look over here. Uh, something is gonna appear right there when I choose that. There we go. So I, an arrow is going to appear over here. And when I select this, I now have the option to choose which files, which folders do I want to recover from this backup. Same thing here, uh, I can create a new EFS for these files and folders that I want to recover. Or of course, I can also store the data, the restored data in the original EFS. All you have to do is choose new and then enter the path for those file and folder level recovery sections within EFS. This one is a super quick one because as I said, not really much changes. The only thing that does change is within the UI when you process the different recovery options. The takeaway here is you do not have to store everything in a new EFS, you can use the existing. And also now you have the option to use file and folder level recovery for EFS. All right, hope you found this useful and I hope you're gonna join me again in the next uh, video as well and have a great day.